In a small town lived three close friends, Usman, Bilal and Yusuf. They were eagerly awaiting the arrival of Ramadan. They were excited to experience the blessings of this special month together. As Ramadan approached, Usman and Bilal, who came from affluent families, eagerly discussed their charity plans. They spoke of donating food, clothes and money to those in need, their faces alight with the joy of giving. Yusuf, on the other hand, was from a modest background. His heart was as big as his ambitions, but his means were limited. He longed to contribute, to be part of the giving that defined the holy month but felt disheartened knowing he couldn't afford to give in the way his friends could. One evening, as they shared their plans, Yusuf's silence did not go unnoticed. Usman and Bilal shared a look, their hearts sinking at the thought of their friend's situation. They couldn't do anything except share their things with Yusuf, but he didn't want to give charity this way. Yusuf trying to mask his sadness, excused himself early, claiming he needed to help his father with some chores. Back home, Yusuf's father, noticing the gloom in his son's steps, asked him what was troubling him. Yusuf shared his feelings, expressing how he wished he could contribute to Ramadan's spirit of generosity, but felt helpless because of their financial situation his father, a wise man with a gentle smile, put an arm around Yusuf and said, My son, charity isn't only about giving money. The Prophet Muhammad saw taught us many ways to give charity. One of them is planting trees. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, There is none amongst the Muslims who plants a tree or sows seeds and then a bird, or a person, or an animal eats from it, but is regarded as a charitable gift for him. They went to their street in front of their house, where Yusuf's father had prepared a young tree sapling and a patch of soil. He told Yusuf, This tree will grow to provide shade, fruits, and clean air. It will benefit not just one person, but many, and every creature that takes shelter under it or feeds from it will be a charitable act recorded for you. Inspired by his father's words and the teachings of the prophet Muhammad saw, Yusuf planted the tree with his own hands, watering it with hope and love. The next day, Yusuf shared his experience with Usman and Bilal. Moved by his actions and the wisdom behind them, they decided to join Yusuf in planting more trees around their neighborhood. Together they worked throughout Ramadan, transforming barren patches into green spaces that promised to benefit the community for years to come. Their initiative soon caught the attention of the entire community. People were inspired by the trio's dedication and the beautiful reminder that charity comes in many forms, not just financial. The friends had not only beautified their town, but had also planted the seeds of ongoing charity, embodying the true spirit of Ramadan. Yusuf learned that wealth is not measured by what one has in one's pocket, but by the goodness one spreads in the world.